During this set, we're going to look at the box elder, the eastern redbud, the American beech, the American elm, and sweet gum. We'll start off with box elder that I have right in front of me. The box elder's scientific name is known as Acer Nagundo. Okay? The box elder has compound leaves, as you can see. This is one whole leaf, and then we've got leaflets. Um, the leaflets can have three or five pointed leaflets. You see right here there's three. There's been one fall off right here, but you've got three leaflets here and on most of these um, twigs as well. Um, so three to five pointed leaflets. The leaves themselves are going to be five to eight inches long. Okay, And you'll notice that the twigs will be a greenish color here. Okay that denotes itself from a lot of the other trees that we see. Um, when you're looking at the leaflets, they're going to be coarsely toothed. Now, again, the scientific name is Acer Nagundo, um, Acer being in the genus of the maples as well. So the box elder is a type of maple, um, but it is the only compound maple that we are going to see. Okay, when you look at the fruit, of the box elder. Just like the maples, it's got a clustered fruit um, that a lot of the times is double or paired like all the other maples, but you see that fruit looks like the helicopter um, that a lot of the people break off when it gets older and it falls to the ground just like a helicopter. So that paired fruit just like all the maples denotes box elder. Box elder. Again, Acer Nagundo. Up next, we have the eastern redbud. Um, excuse the leaves, they've wilted just a touch. But the eastern redbud, Cercis canadensis, is the scientific name, as you can see. Um, one of the things that denote, denote eastern redbud are what's called a chordate shaped leaf. Chordate meaning shaped like a heart. Okay, so we can see the heart shaped on this leaf. Okay, the leaves are going to be three to five inches long, and we don't have a fruit depicted here, but the fruit is going to be a flat pod that's about two and a half to three and a half inches long. Okay, when looking back at the leaf, the, the leaf margin or the edge of the leaf is what's called entire. Okay, entire means that it's smooth all the way around the leaf margin. Okay. The red bud will also have a zigzag type growth habit. So you can see on this limb right here how it kind of zigzags back and forth. And when you look at the tree as a whole, um, it will do that. But it forms up quite nicely. You can see nice purplish red blooms in the early spring that really help depict it or help you see it from a long way away in that early springtime. So, that is Eastern Redbud, Cercis canadensis. Up next is the American Beech, scientific name, Fagus grandifolia. Okay, the American Beech is pretty easy to identify um, from a distance in, say, the fall. It's going to hold on to its leaves and they're going to turn a a brownish color so when all the other leaves have fallen this will be one of the few trees that kind of holds on to its leaves and helps you pick it out from a long way away but when you're looking at the leaves of American Beach they're going to be two anywhere from two and a half to five inches long um, when you look at the leaf and the veins they're going to have parallel veins okay that when they go to the tip and you look, you can see serrations right here at the edge of the leaf where each vein comes out. So 11 to 14 vein pairs that oppose one another and those serrations on the leaf margin um, that come out right there at the end of the vein. Okay. Um, another thing to denote American Beach, and here is a good example of it, is what's called a fusiform bud. Um, fusiform meaning cigar shaped. Okay, you can see it there. This bud will probably double in length or almost double in length um, and will hold on until the springtime until it buds out. Okay, 
Um, the underside of the leaf also, when you're looking at this, is slightly fuzzy on the American beech. So again, American beech, Fagus grandifolia. Up next is another tree beginning with American, and this is the American elm. All right. So when looking at the American elm, you will notice this is one of the smaller leaves, but the scientific name is Ulmus americana, and when looking at it, you'll see anywhere from four to six inch leaves that are doubly serrated on the edge. So you can see these are doubly serrated, a lot of teeth there. Okay, you also see parallel veins on this, um, and the veins will run to the edge where there is a tooth. Okay, another big feature of the American elm is a lopsided or uneven base. As you can see down here at the bottom, the base ends a little bit higher on this side than it does on that side. Um, typically a dark green shiny leaf on the top side of the leaf denotes American elm as well. So American elm, Ulmus americana. And the fifth leaf we will look at here is the sweet gum. Sweet gum's scientific name is liquid ambar thoraciflua. Okay. So when looking here, we'll just snap off a leaf. That'll make it easier. The sweet gum is going to have a star-shaped leaf. Okay. Five to seven lobes or points. So you can see five denoted here. Okay and they are going to be serrated on this leaf. Um, the leaves can be four to six inches long or wide, okay? And again, you'll see that star-shaped growth. Um, sometimes they will have winged or corky growths on stems. You don't see it on this one, but that's uh, very common in the sweet gum. And also denoted for the fruit, the fruit is a round, prickly-looking ball that is attached with a long stem. Um, a lot of people don't like these in their yard because they, if they're walking barefooted, those, those sweet gum balls get to be pretty annoying. Okay, But that is sweet gum. Again, that star-shaped leaf that's serrated, um, wing stems and growths, and the scientific name, liquid ambar sterasiflua. So when we look at these in review, We'll start from the top. We had that green stem compound leaf. Okay, and we remember this one as box elder. Okay. Up next, we had a chordate shaped or heart shaped leaf. Zigzag growth habit with a smooth margin. And that was Eastern Redbud. Third, we saw American beech, okay, remember serrations on the vein, parallel veins, with that acuminate tip, dark green, and the fusiform or cigar shaped bud. Dark green leaf also, very pointy or acuminate tip, uneven base, American elm. So the star-shaped leaf, all right, um, with the serrated margins and the sweet gum balls that also had corky growth. So sweet gum.